Good evening, everyone. Here is a question on past lives and karma and non-doership. I have watched a lot of your talks about non-doership. They make sense to me, but my mind is finding two things contradictory and I am not able to settle on one or both aspects. Non-doership says that we are just instruments and God or the source is the only doer. So do not take ownership which ultimately feeds the ego. However, we also say that whatever is happening in our life we should face it gracefully as it is our prarabdha or past karma that we are living. If it is our past karma, then in my mind, I am totally a doer of it, isn't it? So how do I explain this to myself that it is my doing, but really God is the doer and not I? I hope it makes sense to you. Yes, the question does make sense and no, it doesn't because two different concepts are being brought together which is creating the confusion. So either we believe that we are the doers of our actions, therefore in a past life all that doership is assigned and attributed to me. And therefore in this life I have to bear the consequences of those actions. So in this instance there is doership. Doership from the past, which creates the prarabdh karma, and doership in this life. Now, if I accept in this life, I come across a teaching which shows me that I am truly not the doer of my actions, and this teaching appeals to me, it makes sense to me, it naturally arises that all actions are not my actions. They are purely actions that were meant to happen. And so, even the consequences of those actions are meant to happen. So, when it comes to prarabdh karma, karma from the past, the prarabdh karma is karma that has to be faced. The ownership of that prarabdh itself is dropped. So we are concerned with this life and living this life with the understanding. If we understand that we are not the doers of our actions, we never were the doer of our actions and we never will be the doers of our actions. So the load of prarabdh karma will be faced as a cause-effect loop. But in this life, we don't take on this burden of it is my karma that I have to face because I did all those deeds in a past life. Prarabdh is prarabdh. Even Ramana Maharshi says, that the ordainer controls the fate of souls according to their prarabdh. So it is as simple as that. The doubt arises when one questions this belief and one thinks, I, am I really convinced I am the, not the doer of my actions or am I the doer of my actions? So the mind is still 
one ring between the two and now has brought in the evidence of the past life, the presumed past life in which actions have been performed as my actions. So the key here is the sentence which is there in the question itself. However, we also say that whatever is happening in our life, we should face it gracefully as it is a prarabdh that we are living. It's as simple as that, you see. Then the mind comes in and therefore the questioner continues. If it is our past karma, then in my mind I am totally a doer of it, isn't it? So we just have to drop the word R O U R, which he or she has put in capital letters. That is the whole point. Why not consider it just as past karma instead of my past karma? Now this entire question and the answer is quite irrelevant if this teaching has not brought about a degree of peace in one's daily living. Then this conceptual talk of karma and past lives and so on and so forth can go on and on and on, keeping the ego's thinking mind busy with these antics. The point to ask is, has this teaching of non-doership brought me a sense of peace? Thank you.